Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are and no matter the time, it's devotion time with Miss T. In today's devotion time, we continue using the book, Our Daily Bread for Kids. And our topic today is practice, practice, practice. Yes, practice, practice, practice. And our verse for today is from the book of Romans chapter 12, verse 13. And it says, when God's people are in need, be ready to help them. Always be eager to practice hospitality. And I'll read that again. Romans chapter 12, verse 13. When God's people are in need, be ready to help them. Always be eager to practice hospitality. Practice, practice, practice. Have you ever heard the saying, Practice makes perfect. It means that when you do something over and over, you can learn to do it well. If you want to play the piano, ride a bike, or write stories, you have to practice. The more you practice, the better you get. We can also practice becoming better Christians. The more we read the Bible and do what it says, the better we live the way God wants us to. One thing God wants us to do is practice hospitality. That means to be kind to others and to help people in need. Hospitality can mean inviting another person into your home for a meal or a place to stay. The Apostle Paul and his friend Silas traveled many places to tell others about Jesus. They often had to eat and sleep in other people's homes. On one of their trips, they met a woman named Lydia. Her business was selling purple cloth. Lydia worshipped God and listened closely to the words Paul said about Jesus. After listening to Paul, Lydia and her family believed in Jesus and were baptized. Lydia invited Paul and Silas to stay in her home so she could show them hospitality. You can practice hospitality just like Lydia did. If your family knows people who need a meal or a place to stay, invite them over. When you practice hospitality, you get really good at it. And yes, you will. The more you practice, the better you become. And God wants us to practice hospitality. Now, what does it mean to practice hospitality? Now, imagine you had two toys and a friend of yours didn't have any. Would you practice giving your friend one of the dolls that you have? Or imagine you have a box of Legos that could build a castle or two. Would you mind sharing your Legos with your friend who has none? Now, the more you give, the more you get better at giving and the less you hold tightly to the things that you have. Now, stingy people, now those are people who do not like to give, hold tightly to the things they have. Mine, it's mine. And that's very typical of children. Children are naturally selfish, but God wants us to be givers, people who love to share. And we can only do that by the help of the Holy Spirit. But even when the Holy Spirit wants to help us, we need to be obedient to his instructions to share. So if God says, that's a little girl over there, do you want to share your pack of Haribos with her? You have to make the decision to obey the instructions of the Holy Spirit And go towards the girl 
and share your Haribos with her. And the more you continue to obey the instructions of the Holy Spirit, the better you get at sharing. So, how are you going to practice hospitality today or tomorrow? Is there a friend of yours who has one pencil or half a pencil or no pencil at all? Would you share with your friend? Or is there a friend of yours who comes to school without any snack? Would you share your snacks with your friend? The more you share, the better you get at it. Let us pray. Dear God, we want to thank you for teaching us about practicing hospitality. In the Bible, Lydia was hospitable to Paul and Silas by inviting them to live at her house. We ask that you help us to be hospitable to people around us, to be kind to our friends and our neighbors and strangers alike, because that is what makes you proud of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, our fun fact. In Bible times, purple cloth was made from a dye that came from a kind of shellfish. It took lots of shellfish to make the dye. So purple cloth was very expensive. People who wore purple were the rich and famous of their time. But now everyone wears purple. But it doesn't matter how expensive what you have is. You need to be willing. We all need to be willing to share. Now say after me. I can practice hospitality. Yes, I can practice hospitality. And the more we practice, the better we get. Thank you for joining me for today's devotion time. I'm so excited that you're here and I hope you've learned something new. So until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye.